awesome. I'm going to be doing another video, or not another video, but a video of guns that I like in MW2. So, the M4A1 is a good gun. Sorry, a gun review. But the M4A1 is a good gun. It's got low damage, very well, good range. And then the fire rate is quite high, too. The mobility is good. Like, you can run pretty fast with it and walk pretty fast. And, uh, I... Ex I recommend for beginners always use this gun it's a very very good gun and also we have the FAMAS which is a three round burst it's got low damage but the three round burst you can usually kill somebody if it's in the upper body with just one shot and the range is very good the fire rate is good and so is the mobility the mobility isn't as good as the M4A1 so you can you can't walk and run as fast but I recommend using this gun also for beginners. And now we have the Scar H. I love, love, love this gun. One of my favorite guns in the game, actually. The damage, very high. The range is very high. The fire rate isn't very high, but it's still good. The mobility is pretty high. And the reason I like this gun is especially if you want to get a nuke or camping or something, because it's nice and far range and you can get suppressor on it and all that stuff. So I really, really, really like this gun, and I also recommend it for any if you're a beginner or not. Then the Tar-21. This has very high damage, very high range, pretty good fire rate, and the mobility is pretty good too. Uh, I like this gun not as much as the Scar-H though, but it's quite a, it's a very good gun because the it's got a nice fire rate, okay fire rate for an assault rifle. So, it's, you can shoot it pretty far range, not very good, but pretty far range. And the original sight isn't good, though. Okay, the, now we have the FAL. The FAL is a single, single fire, a uh, good gun, it's got pretty high damage. You know, FAL are in almost every COD, so. <laughs> the FAL has got very good accuracy, high damage, high range, pretty good fire rate, I guess, same as a pistol, right? <laughs> the mobility is pretty good. Now, I like this gun, but I recommend it for a little bit more of experienced people. Not really, you know, beginners or anything. Then we have the M16A4. I think that's the correct thing, I don't know. But it's, uh, it's a three-round burst, just like the FAMAS. It's um, good damage, good range, good fire rate, and uh, good mobility. Everything is good about this gun. But for some reason, most people, and me, actually like the FAMAS better. Now, I don't know, the aim isn't very good on this sight. The sight, like, is kind of bad on this gun. So, yeah, this is more for experienced. And now the ACR. I love the ACR. It's a very good gun for experience and not experienced because the aim at the beginning is very good. It's got a very good fire rate. It's got not very high damage, but good range and good mobility. And I really, really like this gun for camping and trying to get nukes or something. It's very, very good. For, yeah, so I recommend it for beginners and not beginners. The F2000. I hate this gun to hell. Sucks. Damage sucks. Range pretty much sucks because the accuracy is horrible. The fire rate is very good, but it's really bad. The mobility is okay. Now this, I hate this gun. The only people I recommend it for are for people that like this gun. I hate this gun. It's very bad to me. I just hate it to everything. The AK-47. It's a very good gun. I like it. High damage, high range, pretty good fire rate. The mobility is okay. The Now, I like this gun better with a suppressor. It doesn't really need a sight. It's already got a pretty good sight when you first get it. And you know what? It's the last assault rifle. It's very good. I use it quite a bit. And I love this gun. Thank you.